Now on abortion. Shortly, I will join Senators Murray, Baldwin, Kelly, and some of the nation's leading repro reproductive rights advocates to highlight the terrible consequences of repealing the pro protections of Roe v. Wade. The MAGA Supreme Court repealed Roe nearly two years ago. It will go down as one of the worst, if not the worst, Supreme Court decisions of modern American history. In one fell swoop, MAGA radicals on the court made it so that our children and grandchildren will sadly grow up with fewer civil liberties than those who came before them. Repealing Roe was tragic, it was alarming, it was outrageous, but it didn't happen in a vacuum. It happened because Senate Republicans packed our courts with hard right judges, plucked right out of the federal society, Federalist Society checklist. It happened because Donald Trump appointed not one, not two, but three Magna Justices, all who voted to overturn Roe. Remember what Donald Trump said a few weeks ago? He was, quote, proud, unquote, to be the person who paved the way to overturn Roe. And after Roe was eradicated, MAGA radicals opened the floodgates for draconian and cruel bans on women's choice across America. And we know this is just the beginning. Does anyone seriously doubt that should Trump become president again, he won't try to add even more extreme jurists to the bench so he can continue his assault on women's reproductive freedoms? Of course he will, and a Repub the Republican senators, if passed his prologue, are likely, unfortunately, to go along. If Donald Trump and MAGA Republicans get into power, the hard right would not rest until a national abortion ban becomes the law of the land. Mark my words, that is the direction that they will take America in. House Republicans already included a national abortion ban in their recent Republican Study Committee budget. Remember, the Republican Study Committee includes a majority of House Republicans and their leadership. Roe may be gone, but sadly, the hard right's obsession with eliminating reproductive rights is not. Make no mistake, Republicans will have to answer for their anti-abortion records today, tomorrow, and at the ballot box in November.